So Mitch McConnell is not just fucking the Americans' lives over, but he's also fucking the Congolese, uh, Lysians, the Congolesians, their lives too. And this is the Democratic Republic of Congo, the same republic that, uh, of Congo that I was talking about, the Democratic, not just the Republic, but the Democratic, the big fucking Congo. Now you have Mitch McConnell said that the Dodd-Frank bill, the financial regulations of Dodd-Frank was the worst fucking bill he's ever seen in his, you know, 75,000 years he's been in the Senate. So he's been in there, you know, since the beginning of time, and this is the worst bill he's ever fucking seen. This is the worst bill. None of the wars, none of the, you know, uh, Iran-Contra scandal, none of that shit. Dodd-Frank, and Dodd-Frank just was financial regulations. So Mitch McConnell promised the bankers he's going to get rid of this, so it's going to, you know, uh, it's going to be bad for the Americans, but it's also uh, the financial regulations were, it was reducing violence in the Congo. So the Dodd-Frank law, because they're rolling it back, and uh, they, it's already passed in the House, so it's going to pass in the Senate. What's been going on with Congo is its minerals, okay? There's, it's a big mining fucking country, and that's where a lot of raw materials are, you know, um, being dug up, especially for computers and uh, smartphones. So you have armed rebels and criminal gangs that have been funded for decades by the illicit trade in Congo's materials, which is estimated to be worth $24 trillion. $24 trillion. Well, hell, that might be a reason to invade a fucking country, right? To steal their fucking resources. Congo, I, I feel like I, it's almost guaranteed. The United States is probably already in the Congo. How could they not be? There's $24 trillion of raw resources to you in uh, investigators just got fucking killed to cap three. I keep saying two. I keep on repeating that same, uh, you know, latent racism that uh, there was a Congolese interpreter and then there was a Michael and then there was a Caitlin. I don't know. But there is three of them. Okay, so three UN investigators went in there. They March 12th. They, nobody heard from them anymore. And then they found their bodies. So they were killed. They were murdered. They went there to go see what the fuck is going on. You got the president, Kabila, who's extending past his five-year presidential term. He had been elected twice, but he was actually there before the elected, before he got elected. He's been in there since 2001, got elected 2006 and 2011, but now he's done with these fucking elections. Uh, he says that they're, you know, dishonest or something, but you got elected twice, okay? So... Um, he needs to have a fucking election, okay? An election needs to happen in Congo. The one thing about the military, I am, you know, I am mostly isolationist. I want to bring everybody, you know, back home and bring all the boys home and use the bases as, you know, embassies and try to treat the world as equals. But uh, a part of me, you know, the, it's the step in the right direction if we're going to use our imperialism for good. So, during the Rwanda genocide, we should have used our fucking military for the world's police. That is something that would have been good for people, and then that would have instilled more confidence in, you know, uh, us being the world's policemen, us being the lone superpower. We actually go around doing good for fucking people instead of just trying to go after, you know, Congo's minerals. Now, the regulation was introduced in 2012. Many U.S. companies had pulled out of Congo, and they said that the, all the sector, uh, sectors of the economy was suffocated, 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 very uh, nearly ground to a halt, wrote a group of 31 civic organi organizations in eastern Congo to the SEC, but eventually the rule helped to cut off funds for armed groups and reduce child labor and mines, according to the coalition, the thematic working group on mining and natural resources. So a group of 31 civic organizations in eastern Congo to the SEC. So it was bad at first. Now you need 16,000 UN peacekeepers are based in the Congo with one of the world's most aggressive mandates to defeat militia groups. Wow, okay, so the United Nations peacekeepers of 16,000 that are already there. The conflict minerals rule uh, undoubtedly contributes to reducing the right, rate of crime and human rights violations, including the rape of women and the exploitation of children in mining areas. So, good job, Mitch McConnell. You're going to cause more women to be raped and more children to be exploited for their labor in these mining areas. So, you know, this. there's a lot of reverberations. These laws... You know, it took a long time to fucking build them if you're just going to undo them all. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. The fascist uh, assholes will be victorious. Those who go around just being the biggest bullies. $24 trillion, right? And then the, everybody's running out of the fucking prisons, right? 930 ran out. 4,000 have ran out. The UN inspectors are being fucking killed. So UN, UN inspectors are being killed. Three of them were Joseph Kabila is also did a billion dollar deal with Dan Gertler. 
so he did this billion dollar deal uh, with uh, selling one of his biggest mines, a billion dollar fucking mine for about a hundred million dollars. And this was the Department of Justice. They said their investigation found that he had paid a hundred million dollars in bribes to the officials, including President Kabila, who has overstayed his, you know, uh, mandate. So Mitch McConnell, you know, fucking kicking ass, taking names, ain't he? Uh, pull that shit out so there, you know, there's a civil war now. We uh, have to go in and take all their fucking resources, right? So the U.S. SEC, uh, SEC now, they are not requiring companies to report the use of conflict minerals anymore. The conflict minerals plays a crucial role in the violence in the Congo. So this is, you know, the minerals, right? The minerals that go to build the fucking computers. Was it cobalt? I think it's cobalt. There's some, chi the child laborers of cobalt. I don't know, I forget what it was, but... Fucking Congo. Crazy shit. So yeah, Mitch McConnell's an asshole. Fuck him. 